Okay, what I want to do today is show you some uh, some options for manipulating your photos. Okay, using um, filters and blending modes, which are done in layers. So I've got this image here. I'm just going to open it up with Photoshop. Oops, I must have it minimized. Yep. Okay, and I'm going to hit com uh, just F on the keyboard so that I'm in full screen mode. So I've got this image I shot of, uh, I think it was an old air conditioner unit or something, a close up. So this is relevant to the close up assignment. Lots of texture going on here. Um, might want to crop it a little bit first. So I'm going to do that. And I'm just going to clear out my crop options here and just do a free form crop. Just remove a little bit of this left side so it moves this piece here over to the left side. There we go. Yeah, that's a little bit, a little bit better compositionally. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this background layer, and you can do that by either right-clicking on the background and duplicate layer, or if you're like me and like keyboard shortcuts, Command J will duplicate that layer. And the first thing I want to do is I'm just going to do a blur to that layer. So I'm going to filter, go down to blur, and I'm going to do a motion blur. Okay, now you're welcome to try any of the blur options or any of the any of the filter options and just explore what happens. Okay, so I'm going to adjust this down, really abstract the image and click OK. Alright, so I've I made a big change here, but I still have my background image in there, the one that was the original image. And I'm going to play with the interaction of these two layers using the blending modes. And that's what this drop down is. Set to normal right now. And uh, I'll just go through and, and try different ones. I'll try dissolve. Nothing really happens. Darken. So that sort of darkens the image. Um, turn the top one off and see what the original one's like. Multiply. Eh. Color burn. Eh, a little dark. Linear burn. Still dark. Darker color. So that darkens the image again some more. Lighten. Screen. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Uh, color dodge, oh, that's pretty cool. Linear dodge, all these are lightening it. Lighten color, that one's pretty cool. Overlay, mm, just see a little interaction between the two. Soft light, hard light, and you know, you just go through and cycle them and find one you like. That one doesn't do a whole lot. Hard mix. Oops, hard mix. Whew. That's extreme. Difference. Oh, no, difference. That's pretty cool. A little dark, but still pretty interesting here. So um, I sort of like what's going on here, but I um, might want to lighten it. So I'm just going to duplicate that layer, the one with that, with that setting. Just Command-J. All right, and uh, this time I'll do the same. Whoops, I think I'll duplicate my background again. Command J. And this time, what I'll do is do the same thing: filter, blur, and we'll do a motion blur again, exactly the same. Okay, now that one's still at normal. Maybe I go down here and try lighten. Oh, let me move it to the top. Okay, lighten. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And just play. Oh, there we go. There we go. So I blurred the top, blurred that one, blurred that one exactly the same. So both of these are exactly the same when they're by themselves. But when I put them all together, it makes a, a pretty cool image. Now I could go ahead and uh, play with the opacity levels of these. So pull the opacity down on the lighten 
or the color dodge when it's lightening the image. Maybe switch on this one here that's set to difference and play with that opacity. Okay. And I could even come in and add, let's see, a uh, curves adjustment and play with my overall curve of the image and really manipulate it and see what happens. Okay. Pretty cool. Okay. Not complete, but experimenting. Experimenting with manipulating one image using itself in different ways. Okay. All right. So um, explore this. Try uh, adding some different filters. In fact, I think I will. I'll go back to my background copy and I'll try even another filter. Let's see here. Let me go down and do say fresco. Drop a fresco. This is going to bring my library up here. And uh, I'm not going to have to spend a whole lot of time. Now I'm only seeing the layer I'm on right now. If I click OK it starts to interact with the others. And again I might pull down my opacity some. And I could always go in and throw in a a mask and paint with uh, black, you know, and uh, and reduce the effect in some areas. Again, I'm working real fast here, and just see what happens, you know. Just explore the manipulation of an image. I really like this area over here on the the left side a whole lot. Real rich orange and nice contrast. I don't quite have the the texture over here I like so I could continue working and try to pull that back in but um, okay so play with uh, combining the image multi uh, multiplying that layer duplicating the layer and uh, play with the, the blending modes and the filters and see what you get and you can do multiple variations of this and save as and then open the original one again and, and just try to arrive at a cool creative uh, artistic image Okay.